Okay, we're going to start at the front of our mat, sitting up nice and tall. Let your feet be hip distance apart. And your hands get to come behind your thighs, so grabbing back on one of those hammies. Here we are. We are going to curl into a C-spine. So as you look down between your arms, right, pull pelvic bone under. As you pull abs back and away, only getting to the lumbar, and then pull your chest towards your knees to curl back forward, stay in that C-spine. All right, and again, just warming up the abs here as you curl tailbone under, pull pubic bone back with you and coming back on up as you bring shoulders to chest. I'm sorry, shoulders to knees and again, rolling back through, feeling how your sacrum slides underneath you. Keep pressing down into your feet. All right, as you dive back forward, good. Give me like two more here and as you curl under, feel how you continue to pull abs back and away right there and as you bring your shoulders towards your knees, keep pressing down into your feet. Right, one more time, this time you're gonna walk your hands down your thighs and you're gonna walk all the way down towards the mat. Maybe your legs go long, all right? Kind of shake that out, there you go, perfect. Now we're moving into our shoulder bridge or pelvic curl, so your feet flat on the mat, knees up to the ceiling, feet are hip distance apart, arms nice and long down by your side as you find a nice long spine here. In order to move, you're gonna curl tailbone under. All right, and as abs pick up, you slowly start finding length of your spine as you use as much arms as you want here to bring hips up to the ceiling. Good, and find a deep breath here, inhaling and exhaling. Good, one more breath here as you inhale. Exhale, you're lowering down one vertebrae at a time, still working on a nice long spine here. Find how your arms kind of reach down with you as you continue to move. All right, take note. Did you feel the outside of your foot? the inside, all of your foot? Did you find any engagement through thighs, midline? Okay, round two, here we go, as you curl tailbone under, all right? Feel all of your feet. Think about that big toe pad right there. Maybe all of your heel as you slowly lift those hips up towards the ceiling and keep reaching and pressing down with those arms as you find a nice long spine here. Check in, are your abs engaged? Good, here we go, and as you articulate down, one vertebrae at a time. It's a wave. Let your back get wide as you continue to find a nice long spine here. Good, nicely done. One more time here. And as you curl tailbone under, right, continue to find some ab engagement. Find a nice deep breath here, inhaling, nice long neutral spine here. Right, as you find length all the way through the crown of your head. Right, nicely done. And as you articulate down, one vertebra, Hips being the last thing. Continue to find length through all this stuff. You feel how it wants to pull you? You feel like, yeah, you want to let go here? We're going to do one more time here. As you curl tailbone under, right? This is no problem, right? You feel the length of your spine here. Mm -hmm. You feel the reach in your arms. Mm -hmm. You feel all of your feet. Mm -hmm. Looking fantastic. Good. Here we are. And you're doing the thing. And then as you go down, la, 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 you keep reaching for, and you continue to find top of spine, top of head, reaching along this way. Thank you. So much better. So much better. All right, awesome. All right, just one more for good measure, all right? Because that looked fantastic. Now that she's got it, we can't move on unless she tries it again, all right? I see smiles, I see length as you continue to reach those arms, continue to feel all of your feet, all right? So you can find midline, thank you. And as you lower down one vertebrae at a time, fantastic. Lovely breathing, all right. Moving on here, so now that we've gotten our posterior side warmed up, we're going to pull knees to a tabletop position, which is knees at 90, right, which is an active position, right, and we're going to move into some marches here. So this is where your knees stay bent, and you're going to tap right toe down on the mat as you reach away from center, exhale, pull it back on in. Good. And then we switch, opposite side. Inhale, reach, exhale. Good. And as you continue to move at your breath here, I want you to think about ribs expanding laterally as you inhale, and as you exhale, feel how ribs come soft to center. Right, now I'm counting here. This is for four, we're about five. Here we go, one more time each leg. This is fantastic. Here we go, both knees pulled to center. And as you slowly lower those feet down to the mat. Mm-hmm, nicely done. Here we go, let your feet be hip distance apart. This time, arms come up beside your hips as you lift your chest with a big exhale, so inhale. Exhale, lift your chest, arms come up beside your hips, right? And we're just reaching, right? And as you continue to work on pulling right above pubic bone back towards you, 
Yes, continue to feel how you press down into your feet and breathe for another inhale. Exhale. In this inhale, you lower your chest on down. Arms come down by your side. Okay, round two. Here we go. And again, as you inhale, exhale, lift your chest. Arms come up beside your hips and feel the reach into your arms. All right, feel how your shoulder blades get a little bit wider across your back. And with that reach, maybe you feel a little bit of that lat engagement on the side body. Good. And continue to press down into your feet. Yes, last breath here. Inhale. Exhale, lower on down. Now, here comes the fun part. Get to mess with your head. We're going to bring those knees back to tabletop position. One, two. We're going to put it all together. Right? This time, you're going to lift your chest with an exhale. Arms come up beside your hips. Right. Here you go. You got that reach. And now, you're going to start your pumping as well as toe taps. Right? Or marches. Good. So, inhaling and exhaling. Good. All right? And as you continue to rub your belly, pat your head. Right? Continue to work on pulling right above pubic bone, right towards you. Pick it up and back and breathing. Find your exhale. Everybody's doing a great job here, concentrating. One more breath here. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Both knees come back up to center. As you lower your chest here, lower your arms down. Good. Carefully pull your knees towards your chest. Grab a hold of your shins. Pull in. Find out your shoulder blades come down towards the mat. Thank you. Shoulders away from your ears. Breathing. All right. Awesome. Nicely done. All right. So we're going to move into a version of modified rolling like a ball, a teaser maybe, open leg rocker, all the things, right? But here you go. We're going to take your hands behind your knees. So grab a hold of the back of your thighs here, All right? You're going to come up into that hundred curve, All right? And I want you to feel the pull of your arms here. Right now, I want you to feel how you press your legs into your hands, right? And you feel that tension so much that you want to roll up and maybe start balancing up on tailbone, sits bone as you pull yourself forward. Good. And you find the place to balance. Good. Keep uh, that tension as you press into your hands and keep pulling with the hands as you curl tailbone under, rolling back one down. All right. Let this feel good on your lower back here, on your sacrum. All right. Nicely done. Now round two. Yeah, and you come back one up. I know it's so tempting to let your hands go away and do a teaser. Right, but right here, I want you to go ahead and just, you know, continue to create that tension as you curl tailbone under. Right, bring your abs with you as you come on back. Yeah, 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 yeah. starting to feel good. Give me a few more here, right, and find your breathing. Inhale, yes, fight for it, this is great. Stay in that nice C curve right here. Thank you, and as you curl back under. Right, two more here. Nicely done, Eliza, good. Here we go. Stay in that C curve for me. Stay in that C curve. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's enough of that. It looks fantastic. Okay. This time you, when you roll back on down here under control, All right? Doing all the things. You're going to pull your knees back to your chest here. Awesome. Here we go. In this place, I want you to take your right hand, put it on your right chin. Your left hand goes to your right knee. Your left leg extends up to about maybe a 70 degree angle. Let it be a little bit high. Yeah, there you go. Now you're going to lift your chest up into that 100 curve for your single leg stretch here. Here we go. And as you switch hands, right, this time your left hand is going to go to left hand, right hand, right uh, left knee. There you go. And switch. And switch. Good. And switch. Nice. So find an inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Good. One more time each leg. And as you pull both knees in the center, grab a hold of those shins. Good. Tight little ball, big inhale. You're gonna reach those arms overhead as you extend those legs long and reach on out. Good, and circle arms around as you pull knees back in, deepen that flexion. Repeat, inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. All right, find some posterior engagement as you extend away from center and pull it back on in. Two more here, inhaling and exhaling. Good, last one, really stand into those legs, reach. Thank you, here we go, and lower chest on down. Nicely done, okay. Here we go. When you're ready, we're going to roll all the way back one up, right, to sitting. Oh, look at that. Like champs. Moving into our spine stretch forward as you scoot your bum on down the mat, right? Let your legs be at least like, you know, hip distance apart, a little bit wider, right? And here you are, sitting up nice and tall on top of tailbone, sits bone. Find some life in those legs here. Maybe that requires you to pull toes back towards you, right? So you can feel your bum, feel your posterior side, arms reaching out long in front of you. Here we are, sitting up nice and tall. First things first, crown of head, tips forward, 
Right, and you're looking down between your arms, and then you take the rest of your spine with you as you dive forward, not collapsing as you keep arms up and reach out from center and continue to pull abs back to me. Good, and as you stack up one vertebrae at a time, lift up from your seat. There you go, boom. And repeat, here we go, and as you look down, taking your spine with you, make sure your shoulders are strong here. If I were to come and jump in your arms, I want you to catch me, please. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I always wanted to be caught. Here we go. And let's do like two more here. And as you dive forward, continue to find life in those legs. All right, Ashley, dare I say you even bend your knees softly here. Yeah. There you go. Nice. And as you stack up tall, let your head be the last thing that comes up. All right, and as you organize your shoulders there. Thank you. Nice. Okay, relax. Take that one on out. Oh, right, that has one more here. Okay. <laughs> If you can grab a hold of your yoga block here, all right, we're going to work on a little bit of rotation through your spine as well as finding a little bit of lateral flexion. All right, so here I would love for you to grab a hold of the block and bring it to chest height, right in front of your chest, right? Elbows are going to be bent wide. You don't need to push on it, but you know, be engaged so you can feel your upper back here, right? And the idea here is to make sure that that block stays in the middle of your chest, sternum stays there. Right? So as you take a big inhale, get tall. Exhale, stay tall. Oh, she ready to move. She's like, I can do it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Here we go, all right, so big inhale. Here we go as you rotate to the right. Keep that block in the middle of your chest. And it's okay for your neck, your head to turn and look over your shoulder, but you keep that block right there in the middle of your chest. Return back to center. All right, big inhale as you rotate to the other side. Right, maybe maybe find some life in those legs again. Uh-huh, and as you come back to center, thank you. And again, big inhale as you rotate to the other side. You, you two are doing fantastic here. Exhale back to center, All right? And again to the other side, right? So as you continue to get taller, puff this up to the ceiling. Let your shoulders relax here and then continue to get tall with you picking up your spine. Yes, there you go, and back to center. Last one to both right and left, and maybe this time, you let your eyes even look over your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Good. Exhale back to center. Stay tall. Continue to pick up and continue to find space between hips and ribs here. And as you get taller, turning to the left. Nice. Exhale. Coming back to center. All right. Let that block drop to the side here. So that was a little bit of rotation, getting that in early. Hopefully that feels a little bit looser here. This time, you're gonna take your hands behind your head. Do, 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 do. Sitting up nice and tall, continue to pick up waist, find some life in those legs. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to think right elbow comes to right knee, right? And as you bring your right elbow to right knee, think left ear reaching up to the ceiling. Thank you, that is great. Now, as you pull back through the other side to sit up tall, big inhale. Square yourself off, here we go. And left elbow to left knee, as you think right ear reaching up to the ceiling. Yes, where is that knee? Look at all that. Right, and stack back up tall. Okay, now that you know where you're going, here we go. So yeah, find right elbow to right knee. Can you continue to find some engagement over here? How do you find this feedback up into? Good, and stack back up tall. Same thing for you, Eliza, on this side. Yeah, you get a nice little stretch. Do you continue to feel this engagement over here? Mm. Do you continue to feel how that pulls to this side? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And bring your waist with you and get into it. There it is. Nice. And stack out tall. That feels good. Do you two want one more each side? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, let it feel good. Let it move. And continue to find life in your legs. Yeah. Continue to pick up waist here and pick up abs here. Be tall. Yes. Last one. Oh yeah, fantastic job. Okay, ladies, ooh, shake that out. Yeah, delicious. All right, we're gonna move into our side leg series stuff. So I would love for the two of you to face that direction back towards me and you're gonna line your hips up with the back of your mat or the side of your mat along with your shoulders in line with your hips. Right, mm-hmm, here you are. Arm goes long. Right, and let your legs come forward to about a 45 degree angle. There you go, that looks good for the two of you. And maybe, just maybe, block for you. Look at that, convenient. 
block for you. Oh, me too. Yeah, why not? Sure. There we go. Top leg comes up, hip height. Make sure there's life in your posterior side. You're not just hanging out. As you bring that leg to the front, right, inhale, exhale, swing that leg to the back. All right, maybe you flex your foot as you come to the front. Mm-hmm. And then you point your foot going to the back. And you're looking for this hammy glute connection here. And find your breath here. All right, we're going five to the front, five to the back. Good job. As you continue to work on finding a nice open chest here. Yes. Good. One more time, front and back. All right, and once you've completed that, top leg comes back to bottom leg. Nicely done. Here we go. Now, top leg rotates to a Pilates V. That happens in here. There you go. Nicely done. And as you kick that leg out to the side, right, feel that reach, and then squeeze inner thighs together, go long. Right? So as you lengthen out and reach away from center, thank you. Uh huh. Big inhale. Yeah. You feel that? You feel how you want to dump into that work? Right there? Yeah, yeah. I know it's talking to you. Maybe shorten your range a little bit. And then one more time here. This way. Thank you. Nice. Top leg goes back to parallel. Here we go. It comes up hip height. And then you bend your knee. And you plant that knee down on the mat. Modified version. Other version is to plant your foot down as Eliza is doing here. And maybe you feel a little bit of work right there. Mm -hmm. And that piriformis work. You're going to take your bottom leg and you're actually going to reach up towards the ceiling and think length and plant it back on down. Continue to have life on your posterior side, not just hanging out. There you go. We got five of these. That's two and three and four and five. Here we go. Top leg goes long, right on top of the other leg. Mm -hmm. Now that top leg goes back up to hip height. Bottom leg meets top leg. You lift. Uh-huh. I just need five of those. All right. Continue to breathe. That's three. Two more. Last one. Ooh, nicely done. Both legs go down. Guess what? You get to bend your knees, bring your heels towards the back of the mat. There you go, so that your feet are in line with your heels or with your bum. Here we go, a little bit of clam here, so heels stay together and you're gonna reach your top knee towards the ceiling and feel that glute work and then you close and repeat. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, inhale and exhale. Give me two more here. Awesome, nicely done. Here we go. Here's where the real fun happens, right? So that left hand, I want you to come up onto your forearm right underneath your shoulder as you sit up on your side. There you are. And right here, you wanna check in, you wanna make sure that your elbow is pretty much underneath your shoulder there, right? There you go, that top hand, let's do something with that. You can be on your hip or it can be behind your head. If you want attitude, go for it. Yeah, here we go. Now, you get to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Mm-hmm, yeah, and lower back one down. All right, and I'm looking for five of these, right? So as you pick up, you're working on finding length through all of this stuff and continue to find how this picks up to here. Good, you got two, well, actually that's four. Last one, five. Nice, and lower on down, nicely done. Little hip lift. Here, you're gonna slide your block out of the way because you're gonna roll over to your stomach, right, for a little bit of swan here. Easy peasy, nothing crazy. Legs can be together, which is a little bit more challenging. Apart, I recommend to start, right? And as you find some life in your legs, right? So you're thinking glutes and hammies reaching towards the ceiling. Abs are on, your hands beside your shoulders. Nose hovering right above the mat, right? And you already feel this rotation up in your shoulders, right? And I want you to find slight pressure in your hands as you think about length to pick up chest. Let this get long, right? And you continue to find this engagement upper body, thank you. And lower back on down, right. Let this be about your spine and not you throwing your head behind you. I want you to think again, as you press slightly into your hands, use your spine, continue to find that posterior engagement, find length through all of this stuff, thank you. And lower back on down, right. Last one here, as you continue to bring abs with you as you lift your chest, continue to find life in your posterior side Nice, thank you, Eliza, awesome job. Okay, this one is just for kicks and giggles, all right? So this time I want you to come in to just a baby swan, right? Right before you feel like you wanna press into your hands, right there, right there. 
Now, can you pick your hands up off of the mat and hold it for three, two, one. Hands down, lower your chest, let your head go long here. Nicely done, ladies. Push back to a child's pose here. So your hips go back towards your heels, right? And right here, I want your knees to go wide. Find some space here, but continue to pick up abs here as you reach your hands into the mat and find length. Maybe your head can get down, maybe not, but continue to find how you pick up abs here. One more breath here, inhaling, exhale, good. Here we go. Now, as you sit up into your quadruped, you're gonna swivel around, face the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So that way we can do the other side of your leg series. So you're gonna lay on to your right side. Give me some life in that posterior side. There you go. Top leg comes up hip height. And we're going to the front. And as you bring that leg to the front, inhale, exhale, point to the back. Good. And repeat. Right, as you continue to find a nice long spine here, continue to find abs engage and support you. Good. This is three. Mm -hmm. Two more front and back. Yeah. Nicely done. Everybody's focused. Last one. Right, and really as you find that glute hammy work, right, top leg goes back to bottom leg. Mm hmm And this is where that top leg from here, right there, rotates to that Pilates V. Yeah, yeah. So your entire leg rotates. Yes, and then you give me a little bit of external rotation. Even more, there it is. And as you kick that leg up to the side, and your leg goes long to lower. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, lengthen. Good, give me two more, inhale. Right, think long, reach, 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 reach. Good, last one. Mm-hmm, here we go. That top leg rotates back to parallel. Right, and as you bring that knee forward, bend your knee, either that foot can be planted or you can be here. Thank you, either option. So you can do like Eliza or you can be here. Bottom leg, you're gonna reach that up to the ceiling five times. One and lower, continue to have life. Two and lower, three, two more. Last one, awesome, here we go. That top leg goes long, All right? This is the one where your knees bend, so your heels are in line with your bum for your clam, All right? Here you go, and again, as you open that knee towards the ceiling, good, and close, mm-hmm. All right, continue to find your breath here, continue to find ab work here, All right? Continue trying to fight to keep hips level. That's three, two, Last one. Okay, this is the one where you come up onto your forearm here, right? So your shoulders are right over top of your elbow. Right, here we go. Options behind your head or a little bit of attitude on hip. There you go, now you're lifting your hips. One, and lower. Two, good. All right, really working on trying to keep this nice and long and lifted, thank you, three, Four, last one. Good job. All right, now I would love for you to, to switch over to your quadruped position. I'll take that, thank you. All right, and in your quadruped position, we're gonna do a little bit of cat-cow. All right, so make sure your knees are underneath your hips and you've got hip distance apart with those knees. Right, and this is the one where your tailbone is going to be slightly tucked back the other way, like starting in a neutral spine. So the tailbone's tucking up in the air, pick your head up so it's in line with the rest of your spine. Abs are engaged. Here we go in this place. In order to give me cow, right, tailbone sticks up in the air even more. Your chest opens, you look up towards the ceiling. Continue to find some ab engagement here. Good. And as you curl the opposite direction, tailbone tucks under, pick up abs, pick up ribs, push into your hands. Right, as you continue to look at your belly button and then go back the opposite direction, right? Going back to your cow, right? Make sure those abs stay engaged here, right? So they should be firm instead of just dropping and hanging out. Mm-hmm. Last one here. And as you curl tailbone under, really reach into those hands. As you continue to pick up abs and look at your belly button, there you go. And back to a neutral spine. So neither are you cowling or catting. Everything is nice and long. You're looking right ahead. Awesome. This time, we're going to move into your plank position. So you're going to either come down to your forearms, which I'm going to have Ashley do. Feet get to go long, right, as you tuck toes under and you are in your plank position here, right? And you're just breathing, right? You're allowing yourself to stay strong through shoulders, 
as you continue to have firm abs here and you're reaching into heels, but you're keeping that connection of hamstrings up into glute work. There you go. Here we go. One more breath here. And as you bring your knees down to the mat, boom, push back to a child's pose, right? Where you find your abs still picking up here and arms reaching into the mat. They're engaged. Good. Here we go. Round two. As you come back to your plank position, whatever option you chose, whether that was down on forearms or you are up, mm-hmm, just breathe here. Now, maybe, maybe your challenge today is to pick up one leg and place it back down on the mat. How about the other leg? Uh-huh. That's enough of that. Push on back to a child's pose. Awesome. Okay. This time, as you come back to your quadrupat position, all right, here you are, knees are hip distance apart, all right, for stability, go ahead and tuck your toes under. We're gonna transition to a down dog. So for your down dog, I want you to think tailbone is gonna curl up towards the ceiling, right, as you push back, but I want you to let your knees stay soft here, right? So as you let your knees pick up about a little distance off the mat, and as you start to push into your hands, right, and you stick your tailbone towards the air, keep your knees softly bent here, and really reach into your hands. There you go. Let this lengthen as you continue to find some ab engagement here. And then just maybe, just maybe you allow yourself to pick abs up here. Right. You feel how you want to start arching through here? Right. How do you give me this? Mm hmm As you continue to reach into that. Right. Let your knees soften a little bit here. Right. So you can find the length in that. And when you're ready, come down to your knees. Shift back to your quadruped position. Shake your hands out if you need to. All right, one more time here. So let your knees stay softly bent, right, as you come up, uh, hovering right above the mat. Boom, nice, abs are engaged. And as you let tailbone stick up towards the air and you push into your hands, right, let your knees stay soft here. Let your knees soften even more. Right, make this about your back. Right, now allow yourself to figure out how to pull belly button, pull right above pubic bone back. Yes, good. Now, in this place, I want you to take your hands and slowly walk them back toward your feet. Mm -hmm. And then here you are, you're going to be in a forward fold, let your head be heavy, right? Shake your head yes, shake your head no, right? And then here, you're going to slowly curl tailbone under as you come back up to standing, right? You're going to lift your chest, head should be the last thing. Nice. Yeah, there you are. Thank you.